All right, check it out, summer schoolers. Our class is only running from June 17th. That's the official start date. You might be looking at this video a few days early because I'm turning the class on a few days early. It's going from June 17th all the way to July 26th. So the very final day of the class is July 26th. You have till 8 a.m. on July 26th to turn everything in. Normally, this class is taught over an 18-week semester, so it's all been structured to get all your work done week one, week two, week three, right? So if we only have these days here to do 18 weeks of work, right, how should we divide up our days so that, you know, we're doing the right amount of work over the right amount of days? I hope that makes sense. Well, in total, we have 40 days. We have 40 days, and if we're going to do 18 weeks of work in 40 days, we need to do one week every 2.22 days, right? Because 2 times 18 would be 36. So if we're doing, you know, 18 weeks of work in 40 days, if we're doing uh, one week every two days, then we could do 18 weeks in 2 times 18, 36 days. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so anyhow, this is the way it needs to work in summer school. You basically need to do a week of work every two days. In Blackboard, if you come into places like the lectures, right, lectures to watch, these lectures are set up week one, lecture one, week one, lecture two, week two, lecture one, week two, lecture two, and they go all the way to uh, like 17 because 18 would be the finals week, right? So you have all those lectures to watch. And, uh, you know, if you if you actually start trying to watch them, like, oh, week one, I'm going to watch two lectures. And you come here, week two, I'm going to watch two lectures. And then week three, and then week four, and then week five, right? And wait a minute, oh, week six. You only got through six weeks if you go on a week-to-week -week an equal translation. What you need to do is you need to do these lectures on a much more accelerated pace because it's a summer school and we don't have 18 weeks. We have a, we only have, you know, however many weeks we have, a lot less. So to, to for that to make sense, I'm just trying to explain this in many ways so that you can get it in case you aren't getting it. Maybe you already got it. You're like, please quit boring me. Uh, for that to make sense, for this to work, we need to divide up the time we do have to get all normal 18 weeks of work done. And so to do that, our week one is going to occur right here. Our week two is going to occur right here. Our week three is going to occur right there. So, you know, in the first week, right, here's the first week from Monday to Monday, we will have already done four weeks of normal semester work. So we're really rocking it. It's summer school. That's the way it goes. It's an accelerated pace. And we have to do 18 normal semester weeks of work in only 40 days. So we're going to be doing a week of work every two days this summer. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, you could email me and maybe I could help you figure it out. You need to pace yourself in this course. It's a self-paced course. Uh, and here is the, the pace which you should be going. Right. So as you go into the different areas, you know, where there might be weak stuff, you want to uh, you want to make sure that you're kind of getting through the course in this order. And so this would be like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. That's pretty much how it flows. And uh, and then the assignments and everything else, you just need to make sure you have a good schedule, a good pace that you've created for yourself to get all that stuff done. That's how it rolls in summer school. You signed up for it, so don't blame me. <laughs>